Hey there, let's play the capital for November 13th. Yesterday's capital was Riga, Latvia. So we need to go 3,500 kilometers southeast out of Europe. Well, that's not that far. So Western Asia, higher population, but smaller area. That's interesting. Uh, 3,500 kilometers, maybe the Middle East. That's possible. How about Amman? Let's just see if I've got the right idea. Okay, Asia is right. Smaller than Amman and east. 1,100 kilometers east of Amman. But a lower population. I mean, Baghdad, but I think Baghdad is bigger, isn't it? Oh, no. Yeah, it has more people, but I've got the right area. 500 kilometers southeast of Baghdad. My, uh... Sorry, my mind was wandering. My Hebrew professor in college was from Baghdad originally. Uh... He immigrated to Israel in uh, in the 50s, and there's a mass migration of Jews from Iraq to Israel. Um, he always used to say, as we uh, as we say in Baghdad, Zayin Gesund, <laughs> which is, of course, Yiddish for be well, but <laughs> I always think of that. He was quite a character. He, uh, he actually passed away recently. Yeah. And his memory be for a blessing. Interesting guy. Uh, anyway, sorry. <laughs> I was just thinking about that when I was saying Baghdad. Um... Southeast. So where does that put us? Maybe Kuwait. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Wow. Okay. That went well. I'm pleased with that. Of course, I went and told a story about Baghdad when the answer is Kuwait, but you know. Uh, great. <laughs> Let me know how you did. Um, I'm going to uh, link, if I can find a an obituary or an article about uh, about him, uh, Dr. Abia. I'll, I'll link that in the description. He's, he's worth knowing about. He's a very interesting guy. Anyway, um, yeah, let me know how you did, and I will see you tomorrow for some more Capital.